Welcome back to Craftardia and some more weapon modding in Fallout 4. Today we will be checking out the heavy weapons. These weapons don't have a lot of customizations, but the little mods that they do have are quite nice. The first one on the list would be the flamethrower, so called flamer in the game. The flamer has four moddable parts. The first one would be the tank. You can have the standard tank or the napalm tank. As you know, napalm is very dangerous and it will fuck you up much more than the regular fire because it is sticky. It fucking sticks to your face like the alien baby from the movie Alien, but instead of impregnating you, it just melts your face. I'm not sure which is worse though. But anyway, napalm increases damage and it is always better than the standard tank. The barrel can be standard or long, as with most weapons, longer barrel increases the range. Next part is the propellant tank. This is the actual storage for the fuel, and it can be standard, large or huge. The huge one is best. I mean, not in all cases, but in this case it is. The last part is the douche nozzle that can be standard, compression or vaporization. The nozzles increase damage and lower the range. I didn't like the fact that they increase damage by 3 points but lower range by 10. So I took the compression nozzle because I like to have some range when burning motherfuckers. And that's the flamer, which I decided to call long and hot. Because it is. It is long and hot. Using it is hot. Next weapon is the relatively well-known and special Junk Jet. This weapon uses junk as ammo, which isn't all that useful since most people really like crafting in this game, so wasting crafting components as ammo seems a bit silly. It has four moddable parts, first one being the barrel, and it can be short or long. The stock can be modded as well, but it only has the recoil compensating one. It also has the gunner sight available as the third moddable part. The final and most interesting mod that you can add to it is the muzzle. It can be electrified or ignited, so the junk that you shoot can shock or burn the targets. I picked the electrification because the flamer has fire and nothing else has this, so it's only logical to diversify a bit. I call this weapon shock my junk, because that's exactly what you do with it, right? Using it is kinda shitty, firing the junk seems rather disappointing, so I don't think I'll be using this weapon much. Next one is the minigun. It has three moddable parts, first one being the barrel, that can be accelerated, or tri-barrel. The accelerated barrel improves damage and rate of fire, but it fucks up the range and accuracy, while the tri-barrel improves everything except the fire rate, so it is obviously better. You can also add gunner sights to it as the second modification. The final modification is the fucking shredder. It looks awesome and it improves the bash in case someone comes too close. It does mess up the range a bit, but it's awesome. Being a very long and relatively narrow weapon with spikes, the only logical name for it would be rectum shredder. Using it is amazing. It's goddamn amazing! Next we have the mortar that has three moddable parts. Barrel can be standard or light. The light barrel improves hip accuracy, which is better than the standard one in any case. The grip can be modified to be steady, which also improves hip accuracy and recoil. The final mod is the shot canister and it has the multi-shot canister that improves ammo capacity. Since the mortar has mortar balls as ammo and it shoots them in the air, it's called balls in the air. Shooting the balls in the air is awesome and the explosions are awesome, but beware that if you're not using god mode, you're gonna die because the range is shit. The missile launcher is next, again three parts that can be modded, barrel, sights and muzzle. The barrel can be triple or quad, which improves ammo capacity. A bit strange that the barrel improves ammo capacity, but it is a missile launcher that stores missiles in itself, so it kinda makes sense. The sights? Now this brings something new and cool, the targeting computer. You aim, the thing locks a target, and then you shoot wherever you want and it will hit. Guided missiles in the post-apocalypse? Sound very very nasty. The muzzle can have the bayonet or the stabilizer. Obviously the stabilizer is more useful since it gives better accuracy and recoil. You could argue that the bayonet would be more useful since we have the targeting computer that deals with the aiming, but fuck that, the bayonet on the missile launcher just feels wrong. Since I always say wrecked when I shoot someone with an RPG in any game, I decided to call this weapon Mini Wrecker, since he will be doing the wrecking, in a somewhat smaller scale. I must admit, using the targeted computer seemed way too satisfying and powerful. The 
The final heavy weapon that we will be looking at is the Fat Man. The Fat Man shoots miniature nuclear shells. It only has one modification, which is the Mirv Launcher, that lowers the damage significantly, but it makes the mini nuke explode in more explodable parts, like a cluster bomb, so it can destroy things in a large area. But the standard launcher does a billion amounts of damage, and it's fucking awesome. Whichever launcher you pick, you'll end up with an amazing weapon. The name of this weapon should always be fucking wrecked, mate. Thanks for watching this explosive episode of Fallout 4 Weapon Modding. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and I shall see you next time.